Hi, I'm Brian Worley for the Photographer Academy, and in this video we're going to talk about lenses. One of the key things of a digital SLR camera is that you can actually change the lens. So whilst it might come with the standard lens or a kit lens, something like the 18 to 55 that we have here, you can change your lens to change dramatically how your pictures are going to look. Let's have a look at the kinds of lenses that you might consider as your next lens. One of the first options is perhaps a telephoto lens. So these lenses will bring your subject cl closer to you. So if you need to shoot wildlife or sports where you can't get close to your subject, using these lenses they will bring the subject and make it look larger in the frame. They also have an effect of shortening, of, of compressing your subject. So they're quite useful when you're shooting portraits because they'll make you stand a bit further back and they'll make the portraits more flattering. And these have a focal length range. Some of this one's a 70 to 200, but it might be 55 to 250. Something like that is a typical range for a telephoto zoom lens. Moving on after that, Another common choice is a wide angle lens. So here we have a 12 to 24 millimeter lens, and this one gives us a much wider field of view. So if you shoot landscapes or you shoot cityscapes, maybe architecture, where you can't get particularly far back, this lens lets you get more into the frame, much more than you can see with your own eyes. And so these wide angle zoom lenses, they're a popular choice for, for photographers who want more in their frame and want to be able to shoot perhaps close to subjects, but still get quite an extensive depth of field. After you've got perhaps three lenses, this is quite a, more, a bit more esoteric, the one option is a macro lens. So here we have a 100 millimeter lens. This one will bring a subject life size onto the image sensor. So if you imagine your image sensor is around 22 millimeters on the long side, if your subject is 22 millimeters on the long side, it will fill the frame completely. So not just in the viewfinder, but when you look at that on screen, that's going to be a magnification of the size of your subject, and same in print. So macro lenses also are very great, very handy lenses to have when it comes to shooting portraits, because they tend to have quite good maximum apertures, and they're very, very sharp. If low light photography or portraits are really your thing, perhaps a dedicated portrait lens. Here we've got an 85 millimeter with an f1.8 aperture. And what that aperture gives us is a very good separation between our foreground subjects and our background using, by controlling the depth of field. We can separate our subject quite nicely and we've seen how to do that in our video on aperture priority where we showed a portrait example with this particular lens. One, of course, the key thing here which we need to show you is how to change the lens. So depending on your camera, the lens will be changed by a lens release button. On this Canon, it's on this side, invariably, some of the other brands have them in other locations. So you push the button in and you rotate the lens. Some lenses rotate clockwise, some rotate anti-clockwise, again it depends on your brand. But all of the lenses that fit your camera will rotate in the same direction. So that's the lens off. When you take the lens off, the camera shuts itself down and then we'll fit another lens. So I'll just take the cap off the back of this one and we put it up. So this one has two marks on the lens mount. We've got a red dot and a white dot and the lens has a red dot on the top. So we align the marks and just twist it on until it clicks. And now that lens ready to go. The camera knows what it's doing. Our subjects now will be brought much closer because we fitted the telephoto lens. So we're going to now go and take some pictures to illustrate the effects and what you can, how the field of view and how your picture changes by using different lenses. We'll use the wide angle through to the telephoto. So what we've done here is we put the camera on a tripod and we're going to start with our first lens. This is the 12 to 24 to give us a real wide angle view of our scene. Now, as you can see, we're going to take a picture at 12 millimeters and then we're going to move the lens round to each of the marks on the focal range and we're going to take a picture at each of the settings. So now as you can see, we're going to show you a sequence of pictures on the screen as we zoom in all the way to 200 millimeters on this camera. And that you, you therefore you can really get a sense of what changing the lens on your SLR does for how your pictures are going to look. So now you've seen 
a series of pictures where we've gone from 12 millimeters, a real wide angle, to 200 millimeters, a real telephoto, and you can see how the, dramatically the field of view has changed in your, in your frame. This concludes our section on lenses. I'm Brian Worley for the Photographer Academy, and I'll see you in the next video.